And of course, he turns back to age. <laughs> oh, my luck sucks. My luck really does suck. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing the best Peppy Girls free-to-play team. So, here it is, the team that we'll be showcasing today. Of course, we have the SDR Super Ribrian as our leader and our friend leader. I feel like she's actually better than the physical pay-to-play one, so that's why I'm running her as the friend leader. Uh, if you don't know her passive, every Peppy Girls unit you have on your team, she gets a 15% increase in attack and defense. So with every single unit being Peppy Girls, she's going to get a 105% attack and defense boost, which is really good, especially if you 100% her. I don't have a 100%. But luckily for me, we have a 100% friend one. Shouts to Ghost for providing me the 100% Super Ribrianne. Uh, he actually spent his all just to get onto this shout out. So thank you so much. Uh, we have the Bulma, the free to play one that gets her own orbs. She's actually a really good damage reduction unit. So that's going to be very handy. She also has the exact same passive as Ririan where every rainbow orb you get, you get 7,777 HP back. Uh, then we have Caligula. Uh, she gets a 15% and 20% attack increase for every single universe survival saga unit you have. Ribrian being one, we have the friend Ribrian, then we have Kale and herself. That means it's already capped at 60% dodge as well as 80% attack, which is really good, which means she's going to hit hard and dodge very, very well. Next, we have Kale. She is the Universe Survival Saga category support unit, providing key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. Key is irrelevant. This team gets so much key. You have Battlefield Diva, you have Tournament of Power, just to name a few, and some have their own specific key links that, you know, they just, there's so many. <laughs> Especially with Khalifa and Kale, they link up so well with Key, which is irrelevant because they, they they don't have any 18 key super attacks or anything like that, which means they're gonna cap with just two links, honestly. Uh, then we have Buddy Bomber. She still super attacks. Now, the, this unit and as well as Urine can be replaced. It really depends on the Joken event you're going up against because if you don't know, Urine can do stuns and then Buddy Bomber does the sealing. So, of course, if you're going up an event that cannot be stunned or cannot be sealed, I recommend you replace them with the STR Videl. If you don't know where you get her, she is from the Bio Brawly Story event. If you don't know what she does, she revives allies' attack and defense plus 20% at a great chance. Or if you don't have her, you can also run uh, the Great Saiyan Woman 2, which is a defensive unit. She gets herself 60% defense and provides super class allies' defense plus 40%, which is all of the units in this team. So either way, depends on the event you're going up against. Now, the event we are going up against is the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. We, I chose this event because there's, we got a lot of STR types, so I just want to showcase some damage, you know? <laughs> so let's get started. Hopefully we can beat this. Honestly, I tried this team with the Super Vegito token event, but because you don't have any fierce battle units, you're really relying on crits, which we don't really have that many units that can crit at the moment. Only our friend, Ribrian, Bulma, and Khalifa and Kale, but Kale has type disadvantage, so doesn't really matter anyway if you crits it's not like going to do too much but we got a few key again it's not really needed because you got so much key links for no reason anyway <laughs> we're starting off with two rubrians at the start and uh bunny bomber which is not the best we're going to keep our friend in the rotation uh and then our own will be at the last spot i'm going to seal up uh go 10 even though he's not attacking, it would be nice not to get super attacked by Goten. Actually, let's just... Oh, wait, we're going to still go... We're going to still Trunks just in case he super attacks. We can't really avoid any attack from Goten at this point. So, yeah. <laughs> and as I say, we, we don't need key. <laughs> These, this Ribrian does not link with anybody in this rotation right now. Uh, sorry, I was mistaken. <laughs> but this is not the rotation we're looking for. Uh, if my Ribrian was 100%, it would be Ribrian on both, you know, rotations with Khalifa and then whatever the free-to-play Bulma is. And then, yeah. But I feel like because, you know, our Ribrian is really crap, it'd probably be like Kale and Khalifa and Bulma and Ribrian. Or maybe not because Kale does have type disadvantage, but we're going to put her at the front anyway. And we're going to put Bulma in the last spot to defend. Okay, grab these. So, there. Good example of so much key here. 
Urin is getting a, a guaranteed super and as well as Bomber because she can super attack at 9 key. Unfortunately, I should have taken out Trunks, but it's okay. Doing a little bit of damage, okay. Urin can get the stun here. She has two chances to stun with her passive as well as her uh, super attack mechanic. So that's why she's actually pretty decent. But we, even that said, we did not even come close to stunning. <laughs> Alright, so here's one rotation. As you can see, guaranteed super attack here. Going to target uh, Goten here. Hopefully, Khalifa can dodge. I don't really want to get hit by an AGL unit. Get those. And, I mean, Bunny Bulma can't super attack, but she's not needed here. There we go. Dodge with Khalifa. Always good to see. That should take out, yep, critical 600,000. Really good stuff. Only thing that's bothering me is the HP, how low it is. Um, because you're only having two units with 77% rather than a unit with 70% and 100 and something percent, uh, which is usually the case. Because we have few 100% units, it just means less HP, obviously. So, now we're onto this Gotenks. Nothing too special about him as of yet. He doesn't have really that much damage reduction. Uh, but if we can stun him, that would be good. That'd be, even if it was one turn. But yeah. Okay, super attacking us STR unit. She's going to tank this because, yeah, 50,000. Although it's not <laughs> not little. It's better than 100,000, right? Alright. So now we're just going to pray that we don't die here. And we get the stun. If we can get the two turn stun, that'd be awesome. But I'm happy with the one turn stun. Okay, we got the two turn stun. Awesome stuff. Um, so Bulma's going to go last. He's going to be in with the other Ribrian. Uh, so let's grab these. Try to get the Doka mode as fast as possible. So we don't have any troubles later on. Have we used any items? I don't think so. I really think we have not used any items. I should be grabbing as many Rainbow Orbs as possible with our healing units. But I've been panicking, so... <laughs> Taking a lot of damage off, which is always nice. I don't even know what this Ribrian has in terms of criticals and additionals. Let's double check. Because I haven't seen her crit at much at all. Um... Oh, that's Al. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> uh, level 20 crit, level 3 additional, and level 3 dodge. Okay. Okay. At least she's got level 20 crits, right? Um, so let's put... Uh, I guess we can't avoid that. We'll just do this and that. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that Rubyan can finish off Gotenks here. Come on, one crit is all you need. One crit. Level 20 crit. Oh, so close. This is going to hurt a lot as well. Oh, no, I'm kind of scared now. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, we can, we'll survive this. We'll survive this. Oh, oh my god. Wow, he was a, the sliver of HP left. That's the worst. That is the worst. Okay, he's sealed, so we don't really need to heal yet. Uh, we might take this advantage to uh, heal up a little bit. Grab as many of the colored orbs and rainbow orbs for Rivian as well. Even though it was only one. Okay, so now onto the hard part where we really won't be doing any damage. Oh, that was our Ribrian. Oh, that's why I was like, damn, why is he so weak? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm good now, I'm good. Okay, so we're going to Princess Snake here. That's our first item. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, let's grab these. Purples and greens. Yeah, okay. Bar's almost full. Hopefully we can do a good Doka mode on a good unit, like our friend Khalifla or our our friend Ribrian or our Khalifla. Critical, of course, with the type disadvantage unit. 92 damage, I like to see that. 12 damage. Yes, double digit damage is so good to see. 
Alright, so I'll probably leave it like this. I think... Okay, she doesn't have any boosts for our allies. And I'm not going to collect any colored orbs. Only because... Actually, I will... Hmm. No, I will. I will. Yeah. I'll do it. Alright, super attacking. Damn. I wish it was against the... Khalifa and she dodged it. 31,000. I'll take it. Nice. 93,000 critical. I like to see that. <laughs> now, best scenario would be the... Um, STR. Base form go tanks. That means we can do a lot more damage and, you know, not get type disadvantage against the AGL Super Saiyan one. But that's a... It never works our way, right? Yep. See? <laughs> okay. Kind of saw that one coming. I'm going to Android 8 here. And if we can avoid the Doka mode... Oh, that would be really great. So I won't collect any colored orbs. Uh, we'll grab these and these. Ah, oh, we had to. We had to. Okay. Well, rip <laughs> rip the Doka mode, as always. Might as well grab these, though, for that extra damage. We do have type advantage, so why not, right? Ah. <laughs> why is this so much more stressful? Okay, 100,000. Great. <laughs> I think we got the stun as well, so I can't be too disappointed, right? Yeah, we got the stun. But let's see if it was the two turn or the one turn. Hopefully it was the two turn. It wasn't. Okay. Uh, bomb in the last spot. I'm going to just have to pray that Khalifa dodges and then Bomber should tank all of this and more. Hopefully we get the base form. I'm pretty sure he, he can turn to base form or Super Saiyan 3 after this. But if he does turn back, that would be pretty pretty annoying. <laughs> Come on, crits, Bomber. Yes, 154,000. Better than nothing. Alright, turn back to Super Saiyan 3. Ah, so disappointed. I'm probably going to go Sasha here. Yep. And... Uh, let's put Yurin up front. I feel like I feel like she's more reliable. <laughs> Just to stun. Stunning is a lot more better than sealing when it happens. Of course, sealing is always guaranteed though. But I will tr still seal. Just in case. She doesn't get any stuns. 27,000. Our Ribrian is so top notch. <laughs> All right, one more turn. Oh, we did get the stun and the seal, so <laughs> overkill, right? Rainbow orbs there. Fully healed up. If they had more HP and a lot more better units, I feel like this team would be so overpowered just because of the healing potential. Like, my Ribbon was 100%, it would be so much better. And of course, if there was, like, another Peppy Girls leader that provided 100 plus percent in stats and key plus 3, this team would be super awesome. And of course, he turns back to age. <laughs> oh, my luck sucks. My luck really does suck. Okay. I'll do this. Let's grab these greens and grab all these reds. Man, this is taking way too long. Way longer than expected. And we've only gone down like three bars. The only thing we can uh, really prey on is getting a crit with Ribrian and Khalifa. That will do the most amount of damage. Okay, here we go. Uh, Khalif I'm going to go Sasha here as well. I don't want to ruin my rotation, so that is why. 
and we'll grab these and these and a seal why not i don't think the seal carries on to the physical one so it really doesn't matter but just for that extra little damage 247,000 critical thank you thank you for the crits now Khalifa, it's your turn show up yes 223,000 we're pretty much halfway through the event <laughs> And he's back to Super Saiyan 3, of course. They, he will never turn base form, apparently. Alright, so we're going to defend with all of this. I'm going to just, in case... Um, you know what? Let's risk it, right? Get the stun off as well. Hopefully. Alright, 2,000. Come on, tank this. Yes, or oh, dodge. Even better. <laughs> yes. So we are guaranteed to stay alive here. And will you get the stun for us? You're an OP. MVP, actually. Yes, MVP for sure. She's done, like, pretty much most of it, except for, like, one super attack. All right, now it's the big dealing damage units here. All in one spot. Let's put Khalifa first, just because we can get that one. I mean, they don't provide any... They don't provide each other any attack links. The only attack link that will work on this team is Super Saiyan with Khalifa and Kale. <laughs> 78,000. Alright, we need to pray that he goes base form. Please. Only two bars left. Let's just end it right now. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nightmare. We got all our tech units though, so I can't... Oh my god. Let's, let's do some damage, please. At least um, the two bombers, Bunny Bomber and the Youth Bomber, link really well. Like five links together. Uh, whole assortments of things. So let's see how much. Yeah, you can see all those yellows. Okay, we got the stun again and the seal. Damn, you're in 2 OP. Might have to 100% her now. <laughs> Okay, we only got one bar left. One bar left, and that is it. Additional normal. Of course, it had to be the critical and not the super attack. <laughs> oh, will Kale take him out right here? Oh, of course. The one time, guaranteed hit, he turns into base form. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're going to take him out with his mother, Bulma, in new form. Well, half his mother. <laughs> with full HP, of course, because that, that's how we roll with Peppy Gals. And there we go. Finally, we have finally done it. So, obviously, you can tell Peppy Gals is not the best category ever to ever exist. But it can be considered a fun <laughs> team to use, even though that was nowhere near fun for me. That was just devastating. Just the constant switching of physical and AGL was so annoying. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.